William and Mary does relish its traditions that you've been hearing today. And if you live for more than three centuries, that'll do it to you if you're a school. William and Mary's traditions nourish our ties to the college, and they're also moments of shared experience with other people now on the campus. But they go further than that. They're moments of shared experience across the William and Mary generations with graduates of all ages and classes, wherever they now find themselves. Well, as you walk through the round in a few moments, Think about all the other William and Mary people, the countless William and Mary people who have shared this place with you. And as you emerge from the Wren on the Dog Street side into the applause of pre-existing members of the William and Mary community, remember that you now have a place in the long William and Mary line stretching all the way back to 1693. The College of William and Mary is now truly yours, and it is truly worth possessing. Now, the alma mater, it begins, as you know, hark the students' voices swelling, swelling, and its refrain, refrain roars, hear the thunder of our chorus. That means let's not sing it like timid mice. Let's uh, have our voices swell and thunder to join the choir because the alma mater is best experienced when we sing it with all we've got. Jamie? Hark the students' voices swelling strong and true and free and on the martyrs love their telling ringing far and near William and Mary loved of old hark upon the gale hear the thunder of our chorus on the martyr of our fathers, let her never die. William and Mary, loved of old, hark upon the gale. Hear the thunder of our chorus, of a martyr hail. William and Mary, loved of old, hark upon the